Hello, this is Cosmaget, and as you can guess, we continue our NPI lessons. You probably know already how to show pictures. Like here, we show Emily normal school picture at left two, and here is our Emily. Then we show Zoe normal school. Here is Zoe. Then we show Emily set. Then Zoe shock pictures. So, okay, you know how to uh, show different pictures, you know how to position them, and you know that you don't need to hide pictures when you uh, show different variation of same character. Like when we show Zoe smile, it will replace Zoe shock automatically. That if you want to hide picture, you just write hide Zoe or hide Emily to hide them. That's all great, that's all beautiful, but if we look at our code, that's quite a lot of those show lines. Show Emily set, show Zoe shock, show blah blah blah, show, show, show. Almost every other line is a show line. And this, I will tell you, this is quite annoying. It doesn't look like a normal script and it's uh, not very easy to read because you see those show lines again and again. And today I will show you, I will show you uh, a little trick that will help you to reduce the amount of those show lines. First we need to tell Renpai that Emily normal school picture is this character. We have written define E equals character Emily, but Renpai doesn't know yet that this E character is the same character that as this picture, Emily normal or Emily set. And Renpai doesn't know that this Z character, Zoe, is this Zoe normal school and Zoe shock picture. So first we must tie this character to this set of images. That's easy, we just in this character definition line we put comma, we write image equals and in quotes we write Emily. So as you can guess we write only the first word in the pictures file name. When we look at our images folder, we can see many many pictures that start with Emily. And by writing image equals Emily, we tell Renpy that all images that start with Emily is images of this character Emily that's defined as just E variable. And just like this, to define Zoe's picture, pictures, we write comma image equals and we just say Zoe because her images start with Zoe and all these images are different variations of this character. Okay, but nothing changes yet. We still uh, see all those lines. But now we will just erase them, almost all of them. So now we must show Emily image only once. The first time we write show Emily normal school at left 2, Renpy will show us this sprite and it will know that this character, E, is this picture. So when we need to change Emily to Emily said, we don't need to write show Emily said, we only need to write set after E. That is our Emily. Just like that. And when we need to show Zoe shock, and we just need to show Zoe once, when we need to change Zoe to Zoe shock, we don't need this line and after Z we just add shock. When we start our game 
we can see that everything works as usual. It doesn't affect anything. But we get rid of those ugly show lines. So here we write Z smile to show Zoe smiling. We write E angry to show Emily angry. And look at this. Zoe is smiling right now after saying what about knowledge. Then we must show Zoe happy picture for one line and then return to Zoe smile again. So we can just write Z happy and then Z smile again to change Zoe to Zoe happy only for one line. But we can do this even more efficiently and between Z and happy we add add sign. This means that we show the Zoe happy image only for this line and after this line return the image that was before that. So we don't need to smile here because RenPy will know that after showing a happy image on this line, it must return to previous image. And let's check it. Zoe is shocked, then she's smiling. She's still smiling while Emily is talking. Then on this line, Zoe is happy. And after it, she's smiling again. And we don't even need to write Z smile. Let's finish it. Emily shock. Zoe normal. And when we don't need them, we hide Zoe and Emily. And look at this. This is much, much shorter code. And it's kind of easier to read because now we see that Emily is sad right now. Zoe is shocked after this line, then she is smiling, then she is happy only for this line. It's much, much easier to read and actually it's much easier to write. And it just looks nice because we only have two show lines instead of like 51 that were before. And as you can see here, we show Zoe normal school image. And there are two Zoe normal images, Zoe normal casual and Zoe normal school. When we uh, say to show Zoe shock and we don't specify school or casual, Renpai remembers that we must to show school variation of that image. We don't uh, need to specify Zoe smile school, Zoe happy school every time because Renpy remembers that we need to show school variation of our image. Well, that's all for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If so, you can just comment and... Uh, I don't know. Okay, bye.